We have a lot of leaks. That is right. not uh, up for debate <laughs> because they're showing up every day. Um, and there's been a lot of, of conversation about why you can't track these people down. You know how important it is to have people giving you information as a journalist, important right. information. So do you worry if there is a crackdown on leaks, it will hurt transparency that this administration will go so tightly locked down that uh, people won't have any idea what's going on? This administration is going to try and do what every administration does, which is go after leakers. Let's just look at the previous administration. Barack Obama started more leak investigations mm -hmm. using the Espionage Act of 1917 than all presidents combined to stop leaks, and he couldn't do it. Look, business of journalism is all about leaks and our country depends on leaks as a check and a balance on power a powerful president a president who abuses his power a corporation that's why we're in business so to focus attention on leakers and leaks is really to miss the point here everything we know about Donald Trump and his relationship with the Russians we know through hard-nosed investigative reporting and that's what's going on now but some of the information in the way it's been released could be cr criminal in nature and we yes. have uh, folks this week who are leaking about information about what had happened between the president and Russians in uh, the Oval Office in that meeting but yet they ended up releasing information into the public sphere that was the very information they were angry about the president sharing is there not some hypocrisy in that look <laughs> there is always going to be tension between the public's right to know and classified information and administrations that want to safeguard that information but clearly Clearly, the people in that meeting were disturbed enough by what they heard to go back and to call the director of the NSA and the CIA and say, we've got to do some damage control here. And the Israelis, apparently the source of that information, felt under enough pressure to stress that this would not affect the relationship between the United States and their country on intelligence sharing. So this is the natural process of uh, journalism who are trying, journalists who are trying to cover an administration. Every administration tries to cover up. Every administration tries to hide things that are embarrassing. We have to go on doing our job and press ahead. But quickly, is the media going too far by saying things, talking about these things that, you know, even the New York Times admits if there was that conversation between the president and Russian officials, it wasn't illegal in nature. But we have people out there immediately screaming obstruction of justice about this conversation, talking about impeachment. I mean, is it too much uh, reactionary, over-the-top uh, hype? Look, there's a lot of Democrats who would like to see Donald Trump Exile. They would like to see him sent off to an iceberg in Antarctica someplace. That's not going to happen. This investigation is going to proceed. We are going to find out whether or not James Comey actually wrote what he is purported to have written in those memos. We will find out through an organized process, and the political process and journalism will both continue.